Howdy. Welcome back to the Daily Dose. Robert, Susan are in the middle of a conversation about birthdays and AI. How does that go together? Well, um, you and know, everything else in AI, day one and what we do. Yeah, I think the AI thing with day one, which is, you know, going to link it up down below, the program we have for our writing, it's growing, it's expanding. We have one writer in particular, Daryl, who is just, I think, leading the charge on the AI front in a great positive way. Um, and he's using ChatGPT in particular to yes and his thoughts and uh, sometimes to take things beyond maybe his particular bent uh, and, and give him material, something to work from in a very positive way. What I know about writing is it can feel frustrating and lonely and, and even daunting as someone without any sort of challenges. To get those things compounded as a person with more maybe cognitive or other challenges, boy, that can turn writing into a cruel effort. <laughs> However, when you can put in a prompt, go, this is how I'm feeling, this is generally what I want, and AI can spit something back, you can go, huh, now that's interesting, and then start taking it and yes, Andy, all of a sudden it gets you going, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, the yes ending, in Daryl's example, he had specific things from his life. And I don't know what was AI and what wasn't, but putting it in there gave him potential, go this way or you pull that or whatever. Well, I want you to know, my friend, I have uh, uh, not played with AI at all. I I've I've just sat over here and just thought, Susan, this is, figure it out. <laughs> and I went and created this world, you know, with a, a pet dragon and a talking dog. And yet, guess what? I don't have any actual precedent for that in my life. And so I ran up against a couple of walls and went, I don't know. Oh, wait, maybe I could get some ideas from AI. Golly, was that fun. It was so fun. And, yeah. and most of it was completely wrong, but every once in a while there'd be like a little turn or phrase, or it would teach me how to prompt it better to get what I wanted. And, and the end point is I, I pick and choose which words or phrases I want that help me out. This is where it's so great. I think the more people do exactly what you're doing and utilize it as a tool instead of fearing it as a domination, we can realize, oh, there's an integration here, like we've had for so many other things in our lives, right? From cars to planes to uh, <laughs> various cooking uh, techniques and, and, and machines. You know, if we can see AI that way uh, in this scope, uh, and I'm not to say I'm not saying there aren't really dangerous things that can be done with AI. I'm not blind to those or Pollyanna about it. However, the more we use it positively, the more we can say, hey, wait a minute, there is something here for us and, and extend, I think, people's creativity and opportunity to see the world the way they'd like to. Extend is a great way to think about this. I didn't think of it as, as, as dominating or it was gonna somehow like force me, whatever. It, it was more of a, smugness like I should be able to figure this out you know I'm a word person I love reading and writing and why can't I come up with blah, whatever and when you described it you're still figuring it out though it was so gorgeous about what you said is what it did it was it just gave you more things to choose from and the fact that it got it wrong so many times which is something that's so important to recognize it's not perfect it does you know and, mm -hmm. and, and it's really honestly pretty obvious when somebody tries to just you know put something out that is strictly ai right you can take <laughs> pieces of it because it won't be your voice you can take pieces of it and use it in such a way right i mean when i did you know my dad's voice through the the cloning technique it, it, was, it wasn't like I put the speech in and it spit it out perfectly. I mean, it was a lot of work going back and forth and getting the phrasing right and this, that, and the other, you know. But, but it gave me something to work with as opposed to sitting with my dad and trying to coach him through it, which would have been very difficult and painful for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so there, there, there's great opportunity. And I'm, I'm so glad to hear, you know, that you're interested and that our class, I think Daryl's going to do more with it to show everybody, go, hey, look, uh, keep looking because there is great <laughs> To, to, to right away 
if it's with improv to yes and ourselves. It, well, exactly, exactly. That's what it's doing. I'm kind of tempted to ask uh, Daryl to deconstruct for us. Like, okay, this was me. This was AI. This was me. Just to show. Yeah, he, he, Daryl's the right kind of guy to do something like that. Yeah, he, he's got something going. We'll see soon. And maybe we'll have Daryl here on uh, on a dose soon so he can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <All> right. <laughs>